you should smile. Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Today with us, we have a Bradshaw Kentucky Straight Bourbon, uh, aged two years, minimum of two years, um, in American White Oak. Mm -hmm. And this is by none other than Terry Bradshaw. The Terry the Bradshaw. The Hall of Fame quarterback from the Pittsburgh Steelers has his own uh, bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it is... It must be good then. Oh, that was so. Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. Uh, and kind of an interesting marketing thing they do is it comes to us at 51.9%, which is his career completion percentage. How do you know that? I read it. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I drink whiskey and I know things. Sure, Just no call way. me Peter Dinklage, folks. Game of Thrones. Okay. That's the actor's name who coined that phrase. That's a t-shirt. How do you know these I literally just told you I drink whiskey and I know things. You did. You just told me that. Press the rewind. What are you getting on the nose? <laughs> um. It is that a. It is a sour apple caramel. Mm-hmm. Mash bill: seventy percent corn, twenty-one percent rye, and nine percent malted barley. I remember things. Too. You don't like those green. Those green suckers that have like the caramel yeah. in the middle of it. What are they called? It's a green. They're square, set. right? Aren't they square? Well, I don't think they're square. I they're like more oblong. Mm. Whatever. This is when you go to the grocery store and you go to the produce because you want an apple. You get home, you slice that apple up into into little chunks. This is cut up apple. It's definitely fresh apple innard. Mm -hmm. Fresh apple innard. I forgot you like to do the innards. Pumpkin innards, fresh apple innards. There's no such thing as a fresh apple innards. What was the other one? Honeydew okay. innards. Mm -hmm. Innards <laughs> are different than outers. Yep, heard it here first, folks. You come here to get knowledge. <laughs> a lot of apple in there, caramel, vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of barrel char, actually. Yeah. Which I didn't get off the neck pour. So. Got a nice perfumey nose of Mary's Well. Maybe like a, a cream corn. Yeah, it's a creamed corn. It's not That's regular 30%. corn. Okay. There's a, there's a softer, mm -hmm. mellower, creamier caramel nose. Vanilla. Corn nose, I mean. Lots yeah. of vanilla. I'm yeah. saying loads of vanilla. So. But it's like vanilla extract. Were you, were you getting ready to make a joke there? Saying loads of something or us? I have no idea. Okay. Ooh, there's some cotton candy uh, perfume there now. This is a that is a heavy pour. That is a very heavy pour. My goodness. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> I poured too much. I don't like testing a full ounce. I want a half an ounce. Compare them then. You think you got? You think you, think you got shorted? No, I guess they're about. The yeah. Same. <laughs> Weirdo. I'm gonna have a go in. Have a go in. It does, it just has that nice green apple caramel. Hmm. Wet hay, sparky. Ooh, that's See? cinnamon. Cinnamon, mm. uh, but it's like, um, you, you go, you're going on a road trip, you gotta get your sunflower seeds. Do you want your barbecue? Do you want your pepper? Do you want your teriyaki? No. You know what you want? You want your cinnamon flavored sunflower seeds. I'm getting a ton of sunflower seeds in there. You got sunflower seed? Mm hmm. Cinnamon sunflower seed. Mm -hmm. I've never had cinnamon sunflower seed. Well, invent it. I guess they did. Oh, look at that. Mm. The, the mid palate is where the cinnamon's mm. crank up. Mm. I get the a milk chocolate, but like a, like the Nestle's that has the the crunchy stuff in it. Crunch the, bar. The crunch bar. The Nestle's mm -hmm. crunch bar. Because okay. I, I get the that crunch, that malted. I don't know. Is it? Is it I'm getting this. I'm oh, sorry. Good. Is it like a malty? It's milk chocolate. Whatever that crunch stuff is. Mm -hmm. I think they're a uh, uh, akin to Rice Krispies. Kin folk. Can folk. Um, I'm getting the sparkiness of the rye. This is aged, it's a Kentucky straight whiskey, so no, you know it's at least minimum of two years because it's straight. It's legally bound to be at least two years. Um, it does state on the bottle it is aged at least two years. 
So it's not a three or a four, probably. So it's more of a, instead of what I would consider pepper pepper, it's a cinnamon. But mm -hmm. then it turns into like a, a nutty butter spread. And I get some oak and some vanilla, hint of vanilla. I've gotten this note on one other whiskey before, and I don't remember which one it was, and you didn't even remember it. The sunflower cookie that we tried well, not on a road trip one time. That was quite delicious. Yeah, I don't remember a sunflower cookie. Freaking delicious. Softened up, added some sugar on the nose, to one drop of water. I'm still getting the, still getting the rye notes. Hmm. Brought out some more like a like lime, like a sprite for me. Lemon lime. That drop of water just turned this into a rye for me. It really? just oh yeah. Right at the mid palate. Comes in a little bit of wet hay, transitions into all the rye notes are waking up. See? Mm. Told you. It ramps up. It cranked up the peppers. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Well, it's cinnamon to first, but yeah, it, it has the cinnamon um, mm -hmm. aftertaste. But uh, as you're as it's going over the tongue, it's a nice little pepper roller coaster, mm -hmm. and it just spins you around, plops you out. Question: What roller coaster have you ever been on that spins you around and plops you out? I think that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. The roller coaster. Oh. Know? The roller coaster. Nice. In here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I forgot about scorn. I hate when I forget about scorn. It means I gotta do it kind of spur of the moment. Normally, what I like to do is I like to think about the score as I'm nosing, as I'm tasting. Right. Drop of water, mm -hmm. nose, taste. And I forgot to do that today. I wish I remembered now his score. I was gonna say we could do Terry Bradshaw's jersey. I think it's 12, what his number was. I'm remember. scoring higher than 12. Yes. <laughs> 89, what'd you do, Jeannie? I did an 89. Did you nice? Look oh. at it. You have better circles on your eights and nines than I do. Yours Da Vinci would be happy with your with your circles. You know he said a circle is the hardest thing to draw? I imagine. Um it, what'd we pay? Forty dollars. Is it worth it? Forty dollars? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get you two bottles. Do you know why it's forty dollars? Do tell. Uh, Terry Bradshaw grew up not rich, and he wanted to, and he said, and I quote, what's the point, I'm going to paraphrase, not quote, what's the point of having a $100 bottle when you can make a $40 bottle? He wanted it to be 40 or under when he started his company. He Good for him. He doesn't want a, all expensive bourbons. So go buy two bottles. It's worth it. Yep. It is. It's, it is mm -hmm. way worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, $40. Yeah. Yep. Marketing it aside, it comes in as a 51.9. It's a straight, so it's two. Um, I would like, Mr. Bradshaw, should you ever have a, a, an opportunity to watch this, um, I would like you to go beyond the two years, because I think this would be marvelous at six. I think you, you, I think mm. you would, with that mash bill, mm. I think you crank up the caramels and smooth itself out. Um, I think, yeah, six years, please. Oh, that'd be nice. We'll, we'll come and tour the distur distillery. Distur? Distillery. <laughs> distillery. <laughs> Uh, green, uh, was it Green River Distillery? I forget the name of the distillery. Green something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. 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 Tip. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Anything to add, Jean? No. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean, and I hope you're just as thirsty as we are. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I want football on there. I know.